Welcome back, my friends. Today on Choir Boys Cutlery, another rousing rendition. We're featuring the Jackal Flat Dark Earth Blade, uh, made from Southern Grind. Uh, Zach Brown, Zach Brown Band Chicken Fried up in uh, Georgia is the owner of the company. I believe they're out of Peachtree, Georgia. American made, good quality. Got two sheath uh, choices there. Not thrilled on the sheaths. We'll get into that discussion a little later. Let me give you some specs right here. It's a conventional flat grind. Uh, blade steel is 8670M. Now, I've never really messed with that, but just like my uh, Case Winkler, I'm excited to get on it. The hardness is 59 to 60, so it's a little bit harder uh, on the Rockwell. Uh, blade length's four and three quarters. Overall length's nine and a quarter. Handle length's four and a half. Just under a quarter inch on the blade thickness. 9.5 ounces uh, on the weight. And the G10, it's that grippy G10. It's a solid G10, 3D milled. What a beautiful knife uh, it is. Let me turn it over there. The other side of it, man, that's gorgeous. Runs about $230 off their website. It is a beautiful knife. So uh, without any further ado, we'll test it tomorrow. I planned on doing some today. I apologize for that. It, it rained this afternoon and it got late on us. Man, what a gorgeous knife. That's a beautiful knife. Before we get too much into that knife, let me say this. 22 veterans a day commit suicide. Y'all know we're committed to bringing awareness. Now, I, I purposely stopped myself right there from saying we're, we're, perp we're, we're dedicated to wiping it out. I got 327 subscribers. Now, we're growing, and I'm excited about that, and thank you for that. But I know, I know that, that we can only do so much. So what I'm saying to you is this. I am committed. I am dedicated to raising awareness. Now, tomorrow we're going to... Uh, make our donation to Southeastern Guide Dogs will be over 200 bucks plus what they've already received uh, from some of you which I am so thankful for I'm so excited I had guys I'd really thought man and, and me and Sean had kind of talked about this uh, if we hit a hundred bucks we'd be ecstatic now it's five bucks a ticket um, he said we have 200 listen 200 for a dude on YouTube that y'all know for three and a half months I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm putting these on because my eyes float. Now, we're not going to lose sight of the veterans that are in this predicament. If you're a veteran, if you're watching this show, man, listen, reach out. If you're struggling, reach out to somebody you trust. Now, people say, well, Scab, if they going to do it, they going to do it. And I, yeah, I know. I know. I know. But I know, too, that I can't just let the opportunity pass without saying something. This ain't nothing to do with me. It won't never be nothing about me. I just want to help those that we can. You say, okay, what do you what do you hope to get by benching it? Here's what I hope. I hope one day some dude's at work that's a veteran and, and maybe he's kept to himself or something. He hears some guys talking about the channel. And they talk about how hilarious. And y'all know I'm hilarious. Laugh a damn minute. That's me. And he tunes in, but he hears a message that somebody cares. We care. That's all, sometimes that's all it takes. I don't know. I don't know. Be sitting around not saying shit, don't it? So 22 veterans a day commit suicide. Guys, again, if you are a veteran, if you are in that predicament, if you're anybody thinking about taking your life, let me encourage you not to do that. Reach out to somebody you trust because all you're doing, man, is leaving a world of hurt for your family, your friends. And I know in that moment you ain't that you don't see it that way, but I'm telling you it's that way. Get up and come on. We'll help you. We support the blue. We do that by not breaking the damn law. We back the blue. I got a ton of friends that are police, retired police. Um, and this is a crappy time to be a police policeman. But guys, if y'all watch the channel, I know a few of you do. Know that you are supported here. Know that people do care. Know we do love you and know we're behind you. If you're an addict and you feel like you got nowhere to turn, man, listen, same thing. Reach out to somebody you can trust. Remember our saying there, never quit quitting. So then I could open me a t-shirt thing and, and make a billion dollars on my slogans. Never quit quitting. It'll take one time. I've quit a million times. I told y'all. Now, having said that, 
you guys are well, all you guys. We support, you know, veterans. We support uh, law enforcement. We support addicts. We support those who, who others want. So getting into that knife I showed you a little bit, that Southern Grind, that uh, Jackal by Southern Grind. Beautiful knife. Gorgeous knife. Uh, what little I've used it today, man, I'm telling you, it's got that nice curved handle. I'd show you all, but people just fall all apart. I get all kind of comments. Oh my God, he's driving my... <sighs> so I, I wish I could trade live with some of y'all that just don't have a damn thing else to do but sit at home and pick apart a video. You ain't got enough common sense to come in out the rain. And it don't speak much for your life that you're sitting at home critiquing a video. But keep commenting. So you guys it bother you? No, uh -uh, not a lick. That's why I mention it all the damn time. I just, I, it, you know, there's certain things that don't bother me. But when it's just from a damn idiot, it bothers. I'm just going to tell you. It runs all over me. Because what I'd like to do, well, never mind. Y'all, no, school marms at YouTube's done, probably done, they're already probably just grabbing chest, falling over a heart attack. So back to the knife. Tomorrow we'll do some testing on the knife. I did a little light, and I mean light batoning with the grain. Didn't mess up the coating, didn't mess up the edge. Beautiful. As a matter of fact, I'll put just that little light clip at the end of just some light batoning. Tomorrow is a big day, but I know I gotta get that knife back to Kirk. So in the morning, I'm gonna do some tests with it. I'm gonna try to have you a video out by lunch on the Jackal, the Southern Grind. Beautiful knife. And then we will have made our donation to Southeastern Guide Dogs. We will have done our raffle at some point tomorrow. Some point at tomorrow, we'll do the raffle. Um, if it if the board doesn't go out tomorrow, it will go out Saturday morning. I give you my word to whoever wins it. And and let me just say this now: congratulations to whoever gets it because it is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, we'll do that now. What I wanted to touch base on real quick. Let's see how dark it actually is. There we go. What I wanted to touch base on real quick is not the sheets. I mean, it's not the knife. We'll cover the knife tomorrow. It's the sheets. Um, as many of you know, and, and we've said, we, we're battling COVID just like everybody else and, and bumping the road after bumping the road. We're starting a Kydex business. Now, guys, listen to me. If I pay over $200 for a knife, and just like a lot of you, and see, some of you don't, you know, here's what people don't think about. Some people go, well, I don't have a knife that expensive. Well, you've bought five others for $100. You know what I'm talking about. If you spend, say, over $100 for a knife, you shouldn't get a crappy sheath. You should get a good sheath. I'm doing a Kydex business because I live in Florida. It's a, today, I think it was probably high 80s, low 90s. No, that ain't bad until you put 100% humidity on top of it. You live with swamp ass about 11 months out of the year. The one month we consider cold may may hit the 20s, maybe, for a couple days. That's it. So, walking around with a leather sheath, it, it's not real conducive to living conditions down here. But that jackal on the website, I believe, is $230 for that kind of money, son. And Zach, I know you watch these, these videos, son. Zach Brown owns that company uh, up in Georgia, and I support that. I support Zach. I, I think he's a big dog fan like myself. I'm still mad about last weekend. Ain't going to talk about it. Just glad we got a five foot two quarter. Anyway, we're going to support American made knives. And this ain't, listen, this ain't a shot on, at Zach or Southern Grind or the knife. The knife, all gorgeous. And I don't know if they sub out their sheaths. I don't know. I'm just saying. When it comes to knives, if you spend over $100, $150, you should have a quality sheath going with it. Now, they do have a nice option that's like 75 bucks, and I think it's a hybrid leather and kydex. Maybe. Gorgeous sheath. Gorgeous sheath. And, and, and just to go ahead and prove that I'm not just sitting here talking smack about the company, um, I'm going to wind up buying one of them damn knives because I love it. I love the way it feels in my hand. I love the whole deal, and I'll probably get that custom sheath or just have a uh, door make me one. But, guys, in the comments below, give me some thoughts on sheaths. What do you like? Do you like Kydex? 
Do you like leather? Do you like combos? What What's your preferred method? And don't give me some dumbass, stupid, well, whatever you got works. No shit. Kind of like the guy over here, right here, that just keeps, I don't know if he wants to get in the video with me or what we got going on. I almost made it home about to the Chance Bridge. Now, if he, I don't know if he's trying to pay, if he's trying to pass me, I guess. He doesn't realize you got to hit the gas to do that. I'm not, I'm not slowing down. We get to that bridge, it's about this wide. I have to turn, I, when I'm driving on the Shands Bridge, I have to turn sideways, make it across, I'm telling you. It's rough. Oh, there he goes. Ah, Lee. Hey, come, yep, yep, there goes his wife right behind him. I'm assuming that he may be running from her, I don't know. Well, I digress. Listen, kids, I love y'all. God bless y'all. Um, big day tomorrow, and I got one more thing about tomorrow. Well, I'll tell you tomorrow. It's gonna be a big surprise. Y'all need to watch the channel tomorrow. Um, it ain't a big surprise, but it'll be a surprise. Somebody will get something they didn't think they are going to get. And, and that may be this guy beside me. I don't know. Well, listen, I love you guys. God bless you guys. Remember, give me some ideas on Kydex or, or leather. Give me some ideas on sheets in general in the comments. I love y'all. God bless y'all. I'm Scab. You not.